Welcome to Coach Hal. Koh Tao is one of the most beautiful islands in Thailand located in the Gulf of Thailand. It's only about 18 square kilometers and this is exactly why you have to visit Koh Tao. Currently on a sunset mission, about to get the drone up and get exactly shots right over here. It's some of the most beautiful locations I've ever seen. Thank you for coming along with me. Check these out. If I'm gonna be completely and 100% honest, when I arrived in Bangkok, as a solo traveler, first time solo traveler, it was a little intimidating. You have such a large city on a new continent, you don't speak the language. Tackling that city was a little intimidating. That's why for the most part, I kind of stayed in one area. In Koh Tao, this was the first opportunity I had to relax, to sit back, and enjoy the views. And I'm so happy with the island life here. Views are just remarkable. And if you haven't been, I highly recommend, you can get accommodation for about $10 a night. That's what I'm currently paying. That's Canadian. So if you're American, you're paying even less than that. Food is a little more expensive here in Koh Tao than the rest of Thailand, but it's still relatively cheap to where we currently are in America and in Canada. But few places in the world, you will find beaches as peaceful as this. I stumbled across this and I'm so thankful. It's impossible to go anywhere in this world without dealing with garbage, and in particular plastic. And what's really frustrating is seeing how much of it collects, and I'll show you just in a second. Right, right in there, just littered with so much plastic. And that's why it's really important that take care of your garbage, clean up after yourself. We wanna keep locations like this as clean as possible. I just really believe that if we all just do a little bit, we can preserve places like this. And I think that's so important just to be conscious as you travel, leave things better than the way you found them. So a minute ago, I was just talking about how and Bangkok as a first time solo traveler. Solo travel was a little bit intimidating. That's not to say within the first week of my solo travel adventures, there haven't been some incredible positives that you can only get as a solo traveler. For instance, because I'm here alone, I have entire freedom to do whatever I want, whenever I want. And now, traveling with other people is incredible. I love going places with my closest friends, even my family. It's amazing, but when you come out here, some of it is nice just to go out, explore, find views, do it on your own time, and just have a blast because it's amazing. And like I, like I keep saying, incredibly grateful. Now if you listen closely, you can hear all the bugs and the birds. It's like we're on an island jungle because that's pretty much what Koh Tao is, especially if you get away from the hustle and bustle of the areas right off, off the ferry by Siree Beach. You come to hidden places like this, it's a small island, but it does have little tiny areas where you can go explore. There's not too many tourists and it's so peaceful. And that, that's the ultimate reason why I think you should have to visit Koh Tao one day. It is so peaceful and it's amazing. For me, my favorite part of travel has always been, and I think always will be, exploration. And the coolest thing about exploration is that, and I've talked about this in videos past, go off the beaten path, which is exactly what I did here. Not too many people find this place. Not too many people explore here. I think that's what makes it so incredible, is going to an island that a lot of tourists see, but seeing the parts that most of them don't. The reason I named this channel Nomads is because I love exploration. Finding those locations that you never thought you'd see and you never even imagined. That's the reward of travel. Creating those memories that you typically wouldn't experience if you just did things the way everybody else does. After Bangkok, 
I really needed a change of pace. I really needed somewhere where I could relax and take things a lot slower. Hotel's amazing for that. Everywhere I go, I'm at peace. Whether I'm scuba diving here, which by the way has been amazing, you can't film that, but scuba, if you're coming here to Kotao, is the place to do it. Everything I do has just been peaceful and relaxing, and I haven't felt this way in a very, very long time. I live a very busy life, and it's nice to finally chill out and slow down. This island is pure bliss. Everywhere I go, there's the most incredible views, the people are fantastic, and the food matches that equally. If you're looking to vacation somewhere where you can afford to do so, that is peaceful, tranquil, incredibly exciting at the same time, and most of all is stunningly beautiful, Koh Tao is the place to be. I think I've said enough. This is why you have to go to Koh Tao.